how you ended up focusing on choral composition specifically. As I mentioned before, one of the great loves that I've always had is poetry. I read it every day. I start my classes at USC each time with a poem, mm. or invite the students to read one or, or write one. Uh, poetry elevates us. Um, you find in poetry so many things that enrich our lives. And it was a normal thing, therefore, for me musically, mm -hmm. to combine my love of music and the love of poetry and with the third element, the most beautiful and most personal of all instruments is the human voice. Mm -hmm. And even though I'm not a singer, I participated in choir, and that was a huge part of my training at the University of Southern California to have the opportunity to sing in a very fine choir. And uh, that university also had uh, superb, world-famous choral conductors on the faculty, and I was in continually inspired by the uh, concerts, the music I attended and, uh, and listened to as well as sung. And so for me, I'm a lucky man to combine all of these loves of mine into one art.